For two nights in a row, the Rockies faced off against the defending world champion Astros in front of crowds that numbered 40,000 plus at Coors Field. And unlike Tuesday night's game where the wheels fell off in the 10th inning, last night's ending was spectacular. Hello and welcome to the Denver Post Sports Minute. I'm Carrie Ann Keough. Both games against Houston this week saw low scores and high intensity through nine innings. And while the bullpen fell apart on Tuesday night, that was not the case last night. John Gray had another quality start going seven innings, only allowing a single hit and two runs. Reliever Adam Ottavino got the Rockies safely through the eighth with only nine pitches, seven of which were strikes, resulting in two strikeouts. Even closer Wade Davis, who got eaten alive on Tuesday in the 10th, managed to strike out two, walking one in the ninth on 23 pitches. But the hero of the night, none other than Charlie Blackman, who hammered home his first career walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth to win it all. Blackman even had a few jokes post-game too, saying that there were a few more Broncos fans than he would have liked to have seen in the crowd, speaking of all the orange Houston supporters, but that it was a fun game and that the boys played hard all the way through. Wednesday night was the first time the Rockies have beaten the Astros at Coors Field since 2013. The Rockies will have an off day on Thursday before a three-game homestand against Oakland this weekend.